What's up, dudes and dudes in the air? Now, my name's Seth, and we are back again for another trove. Do -do 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 Hi, how y'all doing? I hope you're doing fantastically wonderful. Check this out. As soon as they end up completing that three star bus, oh, what's gonna happen? I wonder what's gonna happen. Come on, do it faster already. Level 30! Ew! 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 Oh, yeah! Level 30, which I actually got that yesterday because I'm recording this video that's coming out today, yesterday. Time paradox! But yeah! Hey everybody, I've been grinding like crazy, and uh, I know that I haven't really been talking to that many people because I've been grinding like crazy, so yeah, I ended up getting the Shadow Hunter to level 30, if you're wondering why, don't worry, we'll talk about some of that stuff in today's episode, but first and foremost, look at that power rank, that's not bad, but first, let's put this sucker on, ha ha! 9,000! Well, it's over 9,000! At least we're- What does a scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What does a scouter say about his power level? Power level. It's over 9,000! What does a scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What does a scouter say? So at least I'm over 9,000 power rank. Getting to 10,000 power rank is gonna suck because it means I'm gonna have to level up all these gems like crazy, we, meaning that I gotta grind a lot more but here's another thing that's very very cool and interesting if you go and look over at the shadow hunter I'm actually the top shadow hunter in the entire game right now yeah get wrecked everybody Scythe please is the top granted I don't really have that much competition but <laughs> but still I'm gonna be at the top for a day or two it might I might not even be at the top by the time this video comes out but I've been grinding like a madman don't know if I'm gonna be able to grind up nearly as much uh, but for today's episode we're just gonna talk about some uh, special things that are going on with Mantle of power however of course just because I have them let's give away another pair of arcanium wings actually let's Let's give away two of them. Yeah. So if you want to win either of them, you can't have to Hadouk in the like button, share, favorite, and subs. No. Nope. No. You don't need to do all of that, Scythe Poo. Get it right. Hadouk in the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And leave a comment in the comment section down below with your username, at which point Scarlet the Spider will let you know by replying to your comment. Yo, dude, you ended up winning. Because everybody always keeps asking me, how do I know if I won? That's how you know if you won, wise guy. So, uh, a general consensus <laughs> that everybody has and knows is that Mantle of Power crashes three times as much. No, seriously, it's just crashing all the time. I mean, granted, I'm grinding more than I ever have. But look at this. If you're wondering why we have almost Mount Sp Speed. That's because we actually don't need any attack speed on any of our gear. The reason I chose the Shadow Hunter, for those that do not know, because I still keep getting lots of people saying, Dude, I thought you were gonna main the Chloromancer! I know that I said I was gonna main the Chloromancer, but the Shadow Hunter's gem is just so cool, man! He's so much fun! Play the character that you want to play, unless it's the Draconis or the Revenant, because their numbers are absolutely terrible, and whoever did the math on them sucks at math. Uh, <laughs> so, here is my gear. I have full set of Stellar, I don't have any stars on the Stellar, uh, just because I'm, I'm not gonna get starred Stellar until I can get to U9, so that I can get more Stellar Souls out of the Everdark. And then of course a Crit Hit Ring, if you didn't already get one, get them! Because Crit Hit Rings are very, very important, and as for our gems, I am rocking... Oh, pardon me. This is actually the only stellar gem I ended up getting out of my empowered boxes. I was able to get like 26 with all my lunar souls, and I still got garbage, man. So this is pretty much a big, powerful, big, big, powerful, my goodness, almost 4k physical damage, uh, lots and lots of health to put towards them. I'm actually almost rocking, we're, we're at 399,000, so we're almost at 400k health, which is fantastic. Uh, I actually really like this one, it, even though it doesn't seem like it should be that big a deal, I actually really like going for the extra health. It gives me a lot more survivability in some of the higher tiered worlds. And uh, the empowerment ability of these gems turns out it's a little bit more important than I thought because uh, this one right here actually killing enemies causes them to explode, which is fantastic combined with my new passive so long as we have our class gem where if we shoot shadow mark targets, they explode. So it gives him a little bit of a AOE because otherwise the Shadow Hunter still is only single target. 
And then, of course, I just have this water gem. Here's a pro tip that I ended up finding out, everybody. If you're sitting there scratching your head going, Why- why are you rocking a shadow- a shadow crystal gem? I'll tell you, because even though this is a shadow crystal and this one's a radiant, um, this shadow gem ended up generating with two stars on it, and I was noticing in its stat value, including the uh, power rank and everything like that, it actually gives us more stats and more power rank as a two star shadow gem than it does for a zero star radiant. So if you can end up ever getting your hands on a three star radiant gem or a stellar gem, GG, you are you are so overpowered. So anyway, uh, then there is this radiant gem right here. You can kind of just look at the stats. They're not really as important, but you can kind of just get an idea. Uh, I'll also just show you my stats in a moment, just because I know people get curious about these things. And now that the gem system is in play, it's all the more like exciting for everybody. Uh, this one is not really the best for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, the empowerment ability, I mean, but it generated very nice stats to it, which is why I like it. But otherwise, it's avoiding damage, grants a protective shield, and absorbing the next attack will stun the attacker, which it gives me more survivability, so it's fine. I like it, but the stinging gem actually is a lot better because as you're causing damage to enemies, it will give them like random status effects. I think I'm not exactly sure what it does, it just says a random effect. And because we have a mini gun as the shadow. Shadow Hunter, that means that we just get so many different random effects. And then, of course, here is our class gem in general, which ripped me. I ended up gaining critical damage, crit hit, and then finally, as the last stat, more extra health and rather than physical damage. But oh well, that's okay. If you want to know more about the class gem abilities, I got plenty of tutorials and videos on all of that stuff. But yeah, another thing too that's very interesting that I didn't know about all these gems, not only are the stats a little bit random, they're not as random as any of us thought that they were initially because I've noticed that the top stat on a gem, like the first stat, the first stat that you get on a gem is always going to be the most powerful, while the second stat is going to be the second most powerful, and the third stat is always going to generate as the weakest. That's why you notice on this one, okay, never mind, this stellar gem is just godlike. Wow. Yeah, but otherwise, like physical damage, huh. Okay, well, I guess I was dead wrong about that one. They're just all random and all over the place. So anyways, get in it! Hello, my friends! Yes, you are all my friends, every one of you. Garbage! Garbage, garbage, garbage. So I'm gonna show you all right now, just while we're still uh, spending a little bit of time here, we're gonna go to you, wait, and I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. This is what- this is how farming is for this guy. Which gems do I need? Water gems. I need nothing but water gems. Hey, Joe! I'm coming to you, my friend! Yes! Joe finally got himself Mantle of Power 2 the other day, otherwise he was uh, getting a little bit behind because unfortunately he couldn't get the pack! Which is great that he can now because now we can actually do stuff. He also has his class gem and stuff and it looks like he's soloing dungeons. No problem! So what the Shadow Hunter's ability is at right now, I'm gonna start having damage numbers on during the videos too. Just just because I know people get very curious about that stuff, and even though I personally don't like it in the videos because I feel it clutters things up, let me know what you all think about it. If the majority of you do not like the damage numbers on, then of course I won't put them on. And if you're wondering why I'm actually rocking Jub Jub, because we have a base movement speed of, I think it's like 87 right now, not really that much of a difference between being mounted or not, it means that I can actually farm as like, with Jub Jub, because we can go into dungeons, no problem, uh, without having to worry about our trail. It means that I don't end up having Fort Fort on hand, but that's okay. Also, in general, there is so many, so many of the bugs going on with all the different characters and classes and stuff. It's Oh, he was lured over here. It's just ridiculous, like, the amount of... I thought I heard a good item. The amount of, like, problems that have occurred with all the classes, like, especially the ranged classes, they feel it the most, and the Shadow Hunter, where you can be holding the left click and just sitting here and attacking, and we won't be causing damage. I'm sure people have ran into that on the Chloromancer too, which they did end up fixing on the PTS server before Mel uh, Mantle of Power ended up going live, and then now suddenly it's like, now Mantle of Power is live, it, granted maybe they're waiting 
until next week for the final build or something. But either way, it's like it's so buggy. Like the Shadow Hunter too. Uh, they actually did fix his like ultimate and stuff like that. Now it's broken again. It's terrible. Like we we miss like almost all the time. So let's see if we can get lucky here. By the way, a pro tip for all you Shadow Hunters out there: jumping in the air like I just did there seems to increase your odds of his attack actually working. Only the odds of it, though. It's it's pretty bad. But yeah, so needless to say, we are causing mega damage. Uh, when I do ever get my ultimate, which we're probably not going to get today, uh, I think I do like 21 mil? 21 mil or something like that. And as you see with our basic attacks, oh, I should show our stats right here. So, oh yes, Bowser, we actually have over 40K physical damage, which is awesome. Uh, maximum health is up like crazy. Then for our crits, where's our crits? We have crit hit 35.9 and critical damage 482. So once these gems end up getting forged up, it's gonna be nuts, everybody, like seriously. So uh, one thing that I am noticing, which is very, very difficult is unfortunately Unfortunately, forging up your gems, like it takes hours of grinding up your chest just so you can destroy it, get a tiny little bit of dust, and then have all of these stupid cash shop things not work. So if if you're ever interested, if you're sitting here thinking, should I really get the Lapis Luck Bug Scythe? No, don't get any of them except for the Jade Clover because it's the only one, like what all of the gems actually do it's just, you just want it so that the gems don't get a crack and you don't have to end up spending a ton of your cubits. Because otherwise, the chance of a gem actually leveling up, especially when you start getting into the higher tier gems, it doesn't matter what cash shop item you're using. Like, straight up, it doesn't. And... Don't tell the devs, because if they end up making them really, really good, then this game really will be pay to win, which would be perfectly fine. But the fact of the matter is that you cannot buy your way past the horrible RNG that is the gem system, so I just say forget it, man. I just say forget it. Oh, and by the way, to everybody that I ended up telling, like... When I did my uh, gem tutorial video on the Revenant, and when I was just doing those videos in general, the Revenant was the strongest class in the game. However, now he's been nerfed so much, he sucks. Like, really, he's not that good. If you're gonna want a tank, use a Tomb Razor because he's invincible. But don't get his class gem because that's a waste of time. Uh, however, they have confirmed, the devs have confirmed that they are going to change his class gem ability. Not sure what it is. They have hinted that it might change his ultimate. So I think that could be very, very cool, you know? That could be a very neato thing. But yeah, so anyway, this is pretty much all I've been doing. And by the way, if you're wondering what's going on around my head, that is the stellar aura that uh, you end up getting for buying one of the uh, Mantle of Power pack thing about Bob's, right? Yeah. And this is this is pretty much the end game right here, everybody. I ended up... Oh, shout out to Chronozilla, uh, who actually is already 11k power rank. Th this was yesterday, so I'm sure she's like at, what, 15,000 by now? or something. Either way, they ended up going through Ultra Mode. They beat Ultra Spiky. Uh, they also ended up... Uh, they're farming probably right now in Uber 9. I may have said Uber 10. I say Uber 10 a lot when I mean Uber 9. But yeah, so just excuse that if I do say it. Uh, but anyway, in U9, I ended up getting invited. And this was back... Back when I was at like maybe 8,000 power rank or something like that, and in all honesty, U9 doesn't seem that bad. Like, it really doesn't. However, one thing that they did do yesterday is they ended up nerfing uh, the drop rates of shadow gear and everything like that to an insane degree. Like, seriously, I'm in U8 right now, and it's pretty much as bad as U6. Like, I, I don't know what's with, you know, like, they end up nerfing something, which is fine, but they always go overboard, don't they? Like, it's like, oh, we're, we just casually ended up nerfing the drop rates. Oh, you mean you made it impossible to find, like, Radiant and Stellar? I think that's what they mean. Uh, apparently, before the nerf, I don't know if it's even possible now, you could end up getting a Stellar drop from U7. I don't really know the magic find amount on that. I'm gonna say 500 magic find plus, because then you end up having like a bit of your dragons and stuff like that. Look at that. We're doing 600k or is that 550? 
Was that 550 or 700k? I, or 600k? I don't know. But yeah, like, look at this. We're getting Shadow 1s and Legendaries, like, no problem. And we're in Shadow, we're in Uber 8, which sucks because a couple days ago, it was actually fantastic where the most common drop you would get was actually a Shadow 2. Actually, a Shadow 2. And it was great because you would end up forging up so many different things. Like, you know, look at all these souls that I ended up having. Uh, even on the market, there was, like, Radiant Souls ended up going down to, like, what? Uh, there it is. They're back up now. Uh, they were like 130 day one, and then within that same day, because the drop rate was so insane, people ended up selling them for, I think the lowest they sold for was like 60k, then it went back up to 75, and then back down, and now suddenly they nerfed the drop rates, which sucks, because, uh, you know, it was it was mad money time. Scythe Poo got bank, you know? And now it's a lot more of a slower process. It still is better. You still end up getting quite a haul just from grinding in general, granted I've been grinding more than I ever have in a very long time, uh, but either way, like it's crazy. So uh, a couple things that I do want to say in closing, because I know that this is a little bit of a longer episode in the series, we'll go back to our quick episodes pretty soon everybody, but there is still a sense of discovery and I wanted to clue you in on all this information that I ended up finding out over my experiences with Mantle of Power and stuff like that. So another pro tip is depending on what character you end up going for, like right now I just went for the Shadow Hunter. I love him, I'm going to still keep playing on the shadow hunter still keep working on him and i'm still gonna keep on messaging the devs telling them how his attacks are broken and need to be fixed <laughs> uh actually i think they may have replied to me i noticed i had a twitter message uh just today i'm gonna read that later but i don't know what it actually says uh anyways the other thing too is whatever class that you end up deciding to main don't go for the draconis and don't go for the revenant because neither of them the Draconis has not seen a bump up in strength, so he's not very good because he's still on beta strength, and the Revenant ended up getting major nerfs to his health pool, making him useless ultimately compared to all the other characters. From what I've seen, uh, Boomeranger is very, very powerful for those that are worried about him getting nerfed a little bit. He's still very, very strong. His chickens can out damage a group more than me just because of the crowd control that I don't have as the Shadow Hunter. And then uh, the other most common one that I see is the Pirate Captain is super duper powerful, like seriously handles groups, no problem. Uh, I've seen a couple Ice Sages end up getting up there and the Ice Sages are still very, very strong Wrong, but generally I see people freezing bosses all the time and it's not really it ends up making dungeons take a little bit longer than they need to but another pro tip because I'm the top shadow hunter in the game <laughs> which I think is so cool <laughs> Lots of voice breaking going on today. I'm just excited and I, I haven't like recorded in a couple days just because I wanted to get level 30. I, I'm gonna take it a lot slower with all the other classes. This one, like, I pushed myself, man. I pushed myself to the limit and was, you know, listening to rock music, playing all night long until I ended up getting exhausted and... Well, I probably could have been level 30 a couple days ago, but getting that exhausted is just not worth it. So yeah, um... Because right now we're actually functioning on some insane physical gear, uh, like the physical gems, I would recommend pulling all of your physical gems out when you end up wanting to swap to another class. This applies to magic as well. So for myself personally, the next class I'm probably going to go for is the Boom Boom Boomeranger, just because I'll be able to pull all of my gems out, throw them in him, and he'll be super duper strong outside of needing all of his leveling. Also. Get ready for Saturday, everybody, because for people that use Patreon and stuff like that, it's a 25% increase in uh, how much experience you end up getting. And for people that have Patreon, it's going to be 50%. So that's just going to be absolutely bonkers. Or, or did they change it? Let's double check. Oh, it's at 50% for people that aren't Patreon and 100%, which... I buy my patron with in-game flux, by the way, because I still think that that's the real way to go, and yeah. But anyway, that's already going to be it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Very much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, don't forget to hug in the like button for me. Share, favorite, and subscribe to join Team Pixel Saddle, and stay epic, everybody. Believe in yourself.